Hi Scorpio, welcome to your month ahead taroscope for February 2020 with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can do so on the website address below. If you haven't got your Mindset Magic or Tribal Tuesday seat you can do so on the link in the description box below and as if that wasn't enough if uh, you want to activate if you want to find and activate your purpose I'm doing a purpose alignment webinar on the 1st of February on the 1st of the month straight out of the gate and this is basically gonna it's literally gonna be that it's literally 11 pounds it's like the price of two coffees so if you want to get your seat please hit the link in the description box below before we start as always i would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so um with that said, I'm really sorry, you'll have to excuse the noise. We've got building works going on at the moment. It is absolutely driving me insane, but unfortunately we have to soldier on. Oh, okay, so your actions and interactions with the World at Large card has just flown straight out and you've got the Eight of Swords, right? Interestingly enough, I tried to film this video just before and you guys know I never edit my videos, but unfortunately I couldn't continue with it. And the first card that you got was the Four of Swords. This time what you've got is the Eight of Swords. And and interestingly enough, the Eight of Swords is all about constriction and confinement, but it's also what you tie yourself to for the long haul. What is it that you uh, effectively are feeling either hemmed in by, or what is it that you are prepared to tie yourself to for the long haul now? And interestingly enough, uh, four times two is eight, so it's kind of like it resonates for me because the message that I gave you from the Four of Swords was that you need to, now a lot of you are thinking about what you need to do to rest what is it that you need to do uh, in order to build up your energies and really consciously pay heed to your thoughts the fact that you've got the eight of swords this is about asking yourself where are you spending a lot of your mental energies where are you spending a lot of your mental power um, and how can you ultimately bring that power back to yourself this is a really big question to ask because when you do ask it you can kind of observe your thoughts and when you observe your thoughts you can then try to you can then start to really action them this is when you start to choose your thoughts as opposed to just having them pop up randomly in your mind unbidden all right so your money and materials you've got the three of wands this is a beautiful card for money and materials so for your finances this suggests this week you could have a little influx of money for some of you if you've got stocks shares and all the rest of it you might have some good news from that it's not guaranteed, of course, this is a general reading, um, but your Three of Wands is also expansion. So it, it talks, because this is a very Jupiterian card, and therefore it talks about finances expanding. It talks about your money, maybe even your outlook, possibly even your thought process and your thoughts around money and finances are starting to change this week. Maybe you have a personal epiphany or uh, evolution or revolution of some sort. And what I really like about this card more than anything is it just represents good times or better experiences of the thing that it represents. So money looks good this month. It looks like it's gonna ease up a little bit for you as well. Now, interestingly enough, I mentioned this for Cancer. I've obviously got to mention it for you guys as well. The Mercury retrograde taking place in Pisces is a trine energy look at that right and it literally is like that if you were to look at it on a chart it offers you an aspect that a, a trine is kind of like a, you know when you get a grand trine it's a triangle so this is a really beneficial energy for you and the fact that you've got mercury retrograde offering you a trine this could be some way of making money it could be some idea that you've had before about making money that you kind of held back on or held you know held off for a later date this could be that coming back into the fold or whatever it is that you have on the table currently you could be thinking how can I expand this how can I make it bigger and it forces you mercury retrograde to start doing the research to start doing the recon uh, so to speak which is amazing right so uh, your 
communications with the world at large you've got the ten of cups right next to the three of wands this looks like communications with a lover with a partner with somebody that you fancy with somebody that fancies you it looks like somebody is coming to your home uh, and there was, there's a million things that I could say about this combination, but I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Your Ten of Cups represents happy times, fruitful, abundant times. It represents uh, material and emotional pleasure, but it also represents the home. And then you've got the Three of Wands right next to it. This is windfall energy right uh, in in many different ways but also on a personal level this really does feel for me like you're welcoming somebody into your home so if you're single this could be uh you inviting somebody over for dinner maybe a couple of glasses of wine you know it looks really really nice this is a, actually a gorgeous energy for you over the course of february it also suggests that your communications this month are going to be blessed you're having a lot of interaction with a lot of people that just seem to want to help you uh, and it's like you're really tapping into that energy the only thing that i will say to you is mercury is retrograde so just be sure that you're reading the signs uh, objectively or as objectively as you can right so that you're not kind of assuming one thing and they mean another and you know then it kind of becomes a bit of a sitcom uh, but for your pers uh, personal relationships in your heart and half, you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, this is especially for those of you that are single, you're welcoming somebody into your home. Uh, it looks like there is a commute happening, whether that's your commute into them, their commute into you, but there's definitely a connection coming in. I really, really like this. Now with the Knight of Pentacles, it does suggest to me that this is somebody that you already know. This isn't necessarily gonna be a new person that just shows up. Um, I really like that. For those of you that are partnered, this really feels for me like you guys are looking to get out of Dodge. It's like you guys are saying, you know what? I really think we should go away for the weekend. Or And with that Four of Swords message that came up, one of these weekends here in February, it looks like you are deciding to venture out, which is nice, right? Um, this is great, actually. It's, uh, I mean, these are really nice cards. Even the Eight of Swords doesn't necessarily throw me off too too much. It just kind of says, you know, be you know, not caught. Well, yeah, maybe cautious, uh, you know, about um, how much time you spend in your mind and on what thoughts you spend your time on. So your first week of the month, you've got the Sun card, right? So look at this. There's definitely some sort of personal illumination going on. On a really deep internal level, you're really starting to observe or shed light on the thoughts that you're having, which means you can start controlling the flow and it also means you can start controlling the quality of what you're thinking about as well. I love this for you guys because it looks like straight out of the gate, you've got some either some really good news coming or it's gonna be about a power dynamic shifting and it will be you being in the best place to receive whatever it is that's coming in. Your second week of the month, you've got the majority magician card right underneath the three of wands now your magician brings you that extra wand right and the four of wands is actually uh, is about good news celebrations it's about commitments possibly even marriage you got the magician card right next to the sun card double hit of one energy why do i say that the sun card is number 19 one and nine gives you 10 simplify take it down gives it one right so you've got this double hit of this creative uh, projective um you know sustained self-sustained self-directed self-focused energy and the fact that you've got the magician card underneath the three of wands this really does see you thinking big it sees you thinking broader further afield how can i connect with other people uh, this could be uh, you know for some of you this could be about promotions for others of you this could be about um you know, uh, communicating to large groups of people because you've got the three of wands, that expansive energy. It's really important though that you don't convince yourself out of it before you even get to it, all right? So that second week of February is looking lovely. I mean, the first two weeks are looking really nice for you. The third week of the month, you have the judgment card. Um, now this is interesting because I said to you I don't feel like this is a new person. It may very well be somebody that you already know, somebody that you've known for a while. The judgment card is for me, 
This is more a retrograde card than any other because it tends to bring something back into the fold so that it can be assimilated, processed, and then released or removed. And the fact that you've got it with that 10 of cups, this is nice. I mean, this bodes very well for whatever's going on in your home. And when it comes to your communications, you could be hearing from people that you haven't heard from in a very long time. This month of February could bring definitely a few blasts from the past. So, now that you know, consider yourself forewarned. And then for the fourth week, you've got the Emperor card right underneath the Knight of Pentacles. So for those of you that are single, whoever this person is, they're very powerful, very self-directed, very self-focused. Um, the fact that they come through the guise of the Emperor, very learned, very educated. Whoever this person is, they're super smart. They've got their own everything, right? To, to put it kind of frankly. The fact that it comes underneath the Knight of Pentacles though, this feels for me like there's an educational trip on the horizon. I don't know why, but there's something where maybe you're traveling to a learning institution, uh, maybe there's a trip to a, a, you know, a, a lab or, you know, places that you can go and see, but that happen to have like a, an educational feel to them. For those of you that are partnered, this looks like you're traveling somewhere that has, um, either a, a, a royal family, you know, so it could be some of you are coming to the UK, um, but it is the emperor, so probably, it was probably gonna be further afield than the UK, um, you know, but it, wherever this place is, it's got sort of what's considered a dynasty. It's quite, almost like old world. There's something very traditional about it. Um, so wherever you're traveling to, maybe even if it's just a spa that has like a Moroccan theme, or do you know what I mean? Something that's, older or more old world or has like a bit of a, a boutique <laughs> not boutique but boutique do you know what i mean it's i don't know it's, it's probably the best way that i can explain it but for those of you that are partnered yeah it definitely looks like you're traveling for some of you you might be planning this trip for march that's definitely a possibility as well so your key to the month is the lovers card scorpio are you about to get down and dig dirty <laughs> Uh, it really does. For those of you that are single, it looks like this is the month where you are truly welcoming love in. Um, things could really just take a turn left, but for the better, which is a really nice energy. Um, it looks fun, it looks vibrant, it looks exciting. Uh, so yeah, just go with it. And then finally, your uh, 29th of February Elite Year message. Everybody's got one, so let's see what yours is. And your leap year message is the empress in order to be fruitful in order to allow things to grow to become the best things that they can be this is about you really opening up to what the possibilities are and really more than anything else i would say this is about being open to abundance being open to growth being open to change and really understanding that the beauty of life opens up when you do this is about you really being brave enough to express parts of yourself that you haven't expressed to either a certain someone or uh, just in general this is about people really seeing different sides of you fun dynamic vibrant sides that are uh, beautiful and fruitful so with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic month let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you take care and i'll see you soon